Turbos. Hey kid, do you like Chinese Turbos and American ship boxes? All right, as AVE says, gentlemen, because only 2% of my viewers are women, at least statistically speaking. <laughs> I am pretty much, well, I just pushed this guy back and I took out the crossover tube so I can pull the headers because it's way easier to get to the engine mounts because they're underneath these and then fitting them in between here it, it makes it uh, quite a hassle so I always just pull the manifolds pop right out I can get to the motor mounts I can pop everything out and it's fairly simple stuff just disconnecting everything pulling it out and then what I'm going to do is swap some stuff over and I'll show that on video and then I'll show me dropping in the prepared 48 into here and then assembling everything back together basically because just pulling it out I think isn't that exciting and it's like 90 some degrees it's killing me out here so all you're gonna do is watch me sweat and I'm not interested in even showing anybody that let alone anybody watch that anyway I'm gonna breeze these guys out of here all right now you may or may not be able to see but I'm balancer taking out the three convertibles. Then the balance are over. Can we see it through where the starter was? Put our 15 on it. Uh, the bus training is open on the motor. So, we can push the converter back. Yep, we're going to do it right. So now I can take the bolts out of the transmission bell housing and go from there. this chain here and you take the spare smaller head bolts that go near the intake port you put them through the little chain from the tractor supply you breeze it down kind of tight because you know I don't have a lot of ceiling clearance over here so they're nice and long they get good thread engagement you got a hook point. All right, I got the jack under the transmission. I picked up the motor up out of the clamshells, wiggled it loose, came off the tranny nice. I didn't have to pry it. It's been off a bunch of times. And if you saw in the other video, I covered the whole back of the block in anti seize So it comes off nice. Now we're just going to take coolant shower.
flex plates. See if this has dowels. It's missing a dowel. We get rid of this plastic bullshit. Swap the motor mounts, oil pan, water pump. Drop it back in. Get everything cleaned up and the rest of this coolant dumped out of here. All right, so moving over this flex plate, you'll see. This is a 4L60E plate, and you can see it has a dish in it. The center is dished in. It has no spacer, it goes right onto the crank. And then you can see this is a six liter plate. It is flat, and it has a crank spacer. And the issue with that is a 60E converter has a little protruding nose, like an Audi belly button. So you need the little flex plate, a little difference there, and then it goes directly into the crank. The hub on the converter goes directly into the crank. This, it has to go into a little thing here. You can buy from transmission places and other performance companies like Hughes Transmission Supplies. You can buy a hammer and thing that just, you use the 60E plate and you hammer in the hub that grabs the nose of the converter and you're good to go. Or you can put an ADE one on. Or when you order an aftermarket converter, you can get a 60E faceplate with an ADE back end if that's easier. Also, if you if it's hard for you to find ADE flex plates and you have 10 of these laying around, just get a converter that fits a 60E flex plate that's an ADE back end. Then you don't have to worry about getting flex plates. If you're wasting money like 80 to 100 bucks on a stock flex plate, you don't need to do that. And then also, you'll see 60E flex plate bolt, ADE flex plate bolt, ADE is longer because of the spacer. So, hope you understand all that. Quick lesson. Man, this thing has, these have been swapped and haggardly blown on many times. They're starting to round. Feels like it'll strip those right out. All right, we just need to transfer a dowel now over. Before I forget, I gotta swap out this torque converter. I have the other. This is my old PTC right here. Ugh. I'm gonna pull this converter out. Pull me a little bit of fluid on the ground. Oh, you fucking stay there. Cap? Put the cap on. Unbelievably full. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a busted off stud here as I was swapping my pan on and I did a quick walk around. I'm like, I should check and see if any studs are broken. I didn't think any were. And lo and behold, one is busted off far inside here. So we're going to fire up the welder and we're going to coax it out. I have videos on how to do this. Also, where I do in a, like two entire cylinder heads, I do like six in a couple of like 15 minutes. So we'll see how this goes today. It's just one, but it's it's busted off in there pretty good. Uh, let me just try to way in here. See if we can get a bead on it. Yeah, we'll build a little ball to the left or the right to get it like an oblong so the pliers grab it really good 
hard to get a good angle on it. Oh, I think it's got one already. Look at that. I need a little bit bigger booger. I'm having trouble with this angle. Let me get more booger. I got my fans blowing on high there. Less than ideal for proper shielding. Here we go. Still hitting my adjuster on my Cobras here. Can only get like a quarter turn right now. They're usually easier than this if you watch the other video. Ah, oh, there it goes. There it goes. I almost do it by hand. How do I just throw my tools? Just throw my tools around like an idiot. Yeah, look at that. It's that loose. Oh, oh, almost. It has like a rough spot. There it is. Ta-da! Throw that son bitch on the ground, make sure it doesn't land on cardboard. All the other ones are clear. Back one is now clear. Give it a little fucking dentist brushing. Oh man, look at it. It's mint. Ready to make 500 ponies. All right guys, we got a good angle of this. I'm pretty much all swapped over. I got everything off my list. For the motor, I even put uh, the Happel Signature anti-seize all over the bell housing to make engine installation and removal easier. <laughs> Knowing uh, how I do this, so be nice. It's almost midnight. It's getting late. It'd be nice to get this motor in. Make me feel good. Otherwise, I'm pretty close. I just go to sleep. Now sometimes the motor installation goes really well, and other times, like, I just cannot get the transmission and whatever to fucking line up. I'm sure you guys have days like this. There are times it comes in and out in five minutes, and there are times I spend 50 minutes and quit. We're gonna see. How is that? Oh, that'll probably do it. Now there's no tension on it. If I can just... I can just put the list guy back in place. One side's in and this side won't go in. So all too familiar. Fucking stupid ass mounts. They're like this. And you gotta drop that fucking Tetris piece in. And the flex plate hits the transmission. And it won't, you get the one side in and you can't, it's, yeah. Can you sense my frustration? 